U.S. natural gas futures bottomed below the $7, closing in on their lowest level in two months, on the back of rising domestic inventories. Freeport LNG said it does not expect the terminal to return to entire plant operations until late 2022, with partial operations resuming perhaps in three months. The recent explosion at one of the biggest U.S. liquefied natural gas export terminals is keeping the supplies in the U.S. despite soaring international demand, releasing the pressure from domestic prices. After the initial reaction to the explosion at Freeport, prices stabilized. However, the markets were greeted by a fresh round of selling after Freeport announced last week that its plant will remain out of service for about 90 days. Officials now say the plant will remain out of service for about 90 days and declared force majeure on LNG shipments until September, according to a Bloomberg report. Hot high pressure continues over much of the interior U.S. with highs of 90s to 100s. National demand eased to seasonal levels this weekend as weather systems arrived over the Great Lakes, east and west, although still hot over the interior U.S. with highs of 90s to 100s. National demand will increase to strong very strong levels next week as high pressure strengthens over the east and southeast with widespread highs of 90s to 100s from Texas to the mid-Atlantic coast, while warm to very warm elsewhere. We definitely expect to see more volatility in the short term, but figuring out the direction is going to be trickier to predict since the bullish outlook driven by tight U.S. supplies, hot weather patterns, and strong LNG exports suddenly isn't as impressive due to Freeport LNG surprisingly going quiet until at least September. The August natural gas futures contract is in a position to test a major long-term retracement zone at $6.50 to $5.80. So if buyers are going to return they will likely start showing up on a test of this area.